Hi and welcome to our channel. I hope that you're having a great day today. In today's video, I would like to show you five cakes that you should eat on your trip to Warsaw. In the description box down below, as always, you will find the list of the dishes in Polish and in English as well, with a short explanation. If you do like this type of videos, we post a video once a week on Sunday, so feel free to subscribe to our channel. If you don't know me yet, my name is Marta from Cooking the World and I am a food guide, blogger and traveler based in Frankfurt. Now I am visiting my friends in Warsaw and I am very happy to tell you that I found some great places where you can try Polish cakes and pastries. I am very excited to show you the first place, which is Pracownia Cukiernicza Zagoziński, established in 1925. Apparently, they sell the best pączki in whole Warsaw. In Poland, pączki has been known since Middle Ages, and usually they're filled with a gem and covered uh, either with powdered sugar, icing or glaze. Sometimes also with orange zest on the top. Polish donuts tastes completely different than the donuts in the other countries. They are kind of fluffy, but they also collapse when you bite them. The most donuts are eaten in Poland at the last Thursday, per to Ash Wednesday, because it's the beginning of Lent. Every Polish person I know eats at least two of them at this day. The next place it is actually very special for me because it's a chain that sells pączki already since 1869 and donuts from Blickle were always very special. They don't only look good, they also taste good. Blickle is one of the oldest Polish confectionaries uh, that exist till this day. The opinions about pączki from Blickle are divided, some of them love them, some not. I don't know what's wrong with you people, they are delicious. Obviously, I couldn't resist and I ordered another one. And also, I have decided to go for the traditional Polish cream pie that it's made of two layers of puff pastry filled with whipped cream, creamy buttercream, vanilla pastry cream, sometimes also vanilla custard or egg white cream. I know that this is confusing, but there are plenty of recipes that people follow. The cake is usually covered with icing or sprinkled with powdered sugar. And to confuse you even more, in Warsaw, this uh, pie is called Napoleonka, in Krakow, Kremówka, and in Wrocław, Napoleonki and Kremówki are actually two different cakes filled with a different filling. Good luck to you with ordering it. And before I forget, please tell me in the comments down below what is your favorite cake. And now I'm going to show you the place that my best friend Agnieszka took me. Słodki Słony is a confectionery and restaurant that belongs to Magda Gessel, which is a Polish television personality, and restaurateur. And as you can see on the counter, they have plenty of goodies. The whole place is in this vintage style and therefore it's very cozy. And there she is, the woman of the hour preparing light for our shots. Isn't she a sweetheart? So she went for two very interesting cakes. So the first one was an apple pie served with merengue on the top. And although it's not a traditional combination, it was extremely delicious. The next cake that she had, yes, she had actually two cakes, but well, it was our dinner. So this cake is also very special uh, for the Polish tradition because it was served with a kaimak on the top, which is a cream that is very similar to dulce de leche, that is made when you slowly simmer milk and sugar. It's also the ingredient that we use for traditional Polish mazurek, which is a cake that we bake for Easter. And I went for traditional Polish racuche. If you want to compare racuche to anything, that would be American pancakes. But racuche are usually filled with slices of apples. When they are prepared well, they are very fluffy, usually served with a sugar on the top, sometimes 
as you can see with a powdered sugar. Also, what is important to mention, they are served warm. In my family home, they used to be a dinner, not a dessert. The next two cakes I'm going to show you are cakes from Warsaw. For this, I went to a Cukiernia Olczak Isyn, where I could find both of them. They also had kremówka and a ponczki as well. But I was dying to try the Warsaw cake called Zygmuntówka. And there it is. Isn't it a beauty? Zygmuntówka recipe is very young because it was developed in 2009, but it looks like a pretty complicated cake. So the cake has almond bottom uh, that contains sugar, almonds, egg whites, flour and butter. It's filled with a chocolate cream, lingonberry marmalade and whipped cream. And it hurt me to destroy this meringue on the top, but I really wanted to eat the cake. So I guess now you can see better the chocolate and also the lingonberry jam that brings the cake a little freshness, you know, like a fruity touch. That's not all my dears, the merengue is actually filled with a whipped cream. And this cake is called Wuzetka and it's actually a cake that you can buy anywhere in Poland. Wuzetka or Wuzet cake is a Polish chocolate cake that consists of two layers of chocolate sponge that might be soaked in alcohol, marmalade or jam and a whipped cream in the middle. The layer of chocolate was pretty hard, therefore I decided to go straight to the middle. Also, I don't know if you can see that, there's a layer of cream just at the bottom of the chocolate. It is surely one of my favorite cakes from Poland and that would be the cake I would recommend you the most. There are definitely many more traditional cakes for you to try in Poland. So let me know in the comments down below if you are interested in seeing more. So now you know what cakes and pastries you should try on your trip to Warsaw. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite cake and what cake from the list of the cakes I showed you today you're gonna try on your trip to Warsaw. If you enjoy our Polish series, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. When it's about Polish food, I certainly got you covered. One year ago, uh, we have prepared a video about 10 traditional Polish dishes to try on your trip to Poland and that one was massive. A week ago, uh, we have posted another video with additional 10 traditional dishes to try on your trip to Poland, few filmed actually here in Warsaw. Next week, I will be talking about Polish sweets, so stay tuned for that. And as always, I wish you all a happy week and I see you in the next one.